Hello. Today I'm going to talk about keystoning and how to remove it in a photograph. We'll start with this photograph of the, the Capitol building here. And you can see that basically what keystoning is, if you remember your kind of Roman architecture when you had a, an arch or an arc um, at the top of the arches, they had a keystone up at the top. And so it's kind of when everything angles up in true perspective to a single point in the sky and these aren't straight up and down, the columns aren't. So to start with just a little refresher, let's straighten our photograph as we scanned it. And I will type uh, C for crop, I will go to straighten up here, and I will click and drag across the angle on the photo. Photoshop will straighten it for, for us, and then we'll pull this in to crop the way we would like it to look. And that should be good. Type of return. There's a little bit up here we have to take off, but we'll do that after we fix the keystoning. Okay, to fix the keystoning, very simple process. We'll go up here to the Move tool. You can also type V and then Command T. And Command T puts our transform box around it. And all you're going to do is we're going to pull this corner out, push this corner in until these columns are straight up and down. While you're in the transform mode, you can still drag guides over. So let's drag one here to kind of this corner right here. This corner technically should align with this corner right here because they are on um, the same plane. And we'll drag another one over here to look at maybe this one on the very edge over here. And what I usually will do is we'll split the difference. So I'll put, we'll move this one in and pull this one out. So now we simply go up to the corner up here, we hold down our command key and we can click and drag. So we'll pull this out just a little bit, push the bottom one in, continue to hold your command key, and you can see how it's starting to straighten it. So I do about the same amount here and here. Now we'll look at how these line up. This looks actually a little bit closer, so I'm just going to pull this one out just a little bit until these two are pretty pretty close. If I drag my guide over here, they are lined up right there on the guide. If I come over here, this one looks pretty good. These columns here look pretty good. It's just that last column. We'll take a look. I'm going to drop a guide right in the center of the column. And it looks like the bottom could still come over just a touch. There. Now, you can see that I have lost some of my photograph and I've gained some up here. Um, that is what happens when you fix some of these things. I have found at times that I want to make the photograph less tall, so I will grab this in the top and pull it down. And sometimes that returns it to um, its normal perspective. There is some skewing that is involved here, but no more than the actual lens does when it keystones the photograph anyway. If we all want a perfect photograph, we would all buy a 8x10 view camera and go out with Ansel Adams and he would show us how to adjust our, our glass plates so we would have no keystoning. Um, so that's a quick tutorial on how to fix keystoning. From here what I would do is simply type a return and then recrop with a C and I would have to crop this. Now if you were courageous you could go in here and you could start to try to fill this in with uh, your content aware tool. Um, me. I'm just going to lop part of that off because it's not that important to me. What is important is this little boy in here and everything else now is nice and straight. So that is how to fix keystoning in Photoshop. If you would like, check out more tutorials on my website, craigkuntz.com. Thank you.